first of all, this is the smallest set of wheels I have ever purchased in my entire life. This weekend, the committed crew is having a Black Friday sale. So all day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the entire website is gonna be 50% off or more or less. About 50% off, we got hats, t-shirts, sweaters, stickers, jet tags, banners, the, all the stuff. Sign up for the newsletter at the website or follow the committed crew on Instagram and you guys will stay up to date on everything that is going down. And also, uh, if you guys haven't caught on yet, I'm doing a new thing where I upload two times a week. We're talking Tuesday and Friday. So make sure you guys, like mental note of that. I have a couple people messaging me sometimes and like commenting and just wondering like, when's my next post, when's my next post? And I'm kind of trying to stick to that schedule that allows me to have weeks that are super, super slow and weeks like this week that are really jam packed where I can get ahead of some stuff. So Monday, Monday and Friday, baby. Monday and Friday. Nope, I messed it up, it's Tuesday, God. It's Tuesday and Friday. Anyways, today we were taking care of something that, <laughs> that should have been taken care of forever ago, like so long ago. But when I bought this car, I kind of liked the wheels. These aren't stock wheels. They're some sort of aftermarket something. They got the Honda center cap, so they looked like you, you could think like, oh, those are probably just stock wheels. They, felt, they fit like the sleeper look that I was going for. I don't know if you guys noticed in the last video where we were doing pulls, the steering wheel of it shakes like absolutely disgusting over a speed that is legal. I'm hoping putting new wheels and tires on will fix that. I'm hoping it's just like a tire imbalance or tire flat spot or something because it's kind of always done that since I've owned this car. So to complete the sleeper Civic look, the a teenage kid owns this car vibe that I've been trying to go for since day one. We got a set of wheels from the company that is the king of affordable yet nice wheels. We got the Odd Hans, baby. <laughs> Dude, I've actually never ever owned a polished set of wheels. These are actually beautiful. Like the finish on them is so much nicer than I thought they would be. They are also extremely small. <laughs> so these are the Odd AH01s. These are 15 by eights and they are a minus 20 offset. We test fit Jasmine's wheels on this thing like four or five times. And I just I just didn't know if I was down for the black on black vibes. I've never really color matched my wheels to my car. It's not something I'm super into. I really like a good set of wheels that pop. So I sent it with something I have never done before. And dude, this is actually such a sick wheel and the camera captures it so well too. Like it's got so much shine to it. It's not just like the dull. These are a pretty good sized chunk of meat, dude. Like. For a Civic, that's not bad. And of course, every set of wheels needs a great set of tires. So these bad boys are the Nitto NT05s and these are in a 205-50R15. I'm gonna just go ahead and address all concerns right away. Pretty much the biggest tire size you can fit right here would be like a 225. The EG's running a 225, but I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. Even if I got a 250, I'm gonna break them loose. Like this thing has too much beans. So these should fit really nice. They will give us tons of clearance. Won't really give us any rubbing issues or anything when they're mounted up on the wheels. I went ahead and focused more on getting a really nice compound than getting like the biggest tire size possible. Cause like I told you guys, I don't really think it matters how big of a tire it is it's gonna get broken loose by this beast. The EG's running a 225 and I broke those loose when it made like 200 horsepower. Going to a 225, 205, doesn't really matter. This thing's gonna break them. I think my plan is to just get a six out of slicks for next summer so we can take it to like the drag strip a couple times and just beat on it a little bit. But for street tires, these should be just disgustingly good. <laughs> Why? Damn, dude. That's actually like still more aggressive than I thought it would be. Keep in mind though, we're running like zero camper. If you look at this, it's almost positive because uh, we're working with not a lot of meats. We're trying to get the power down. Something that a lot of people have to understand is I will not camber a front wheel drive car that makes a decent amount of power because that's how you get your power to the ground. And a little bit of like a, a lift on the coilovers. I think it should fit perfectly fine. And it's also gonna just pop, dude. Look at that. Day yum. That is gonna be nice. So one thing I noticed, obviously you guys noticed too right away, the center cap popped out. Uh, Th that's just due to the fact that we have different axles. These are the Yonaka K-Swap axles. Obviously this sticks out a little bit further on the K-Swap axles than on a regular axle. And these wheels were not told. No one told the wheels that that, that was gonna happen. 
Talk about tight fitment. I think the new garage floors, which I really have, I don't talk about how excited I am, but every day when I walk in here, I'm so pumped. They make it so bright in here that everything I film looks so much better, dude. Like these wheels are like glossy, dude. Ah, oh, this is sick. Simple yet fire wheels, man. This is another reason why Civics are awesome, dude. Four wheels in boxes and tires in the back of the Jeep. I didn't even put the seats down. Dude, these actually fit so nice. Look at this. They don't stretch like at all. They're kind of almost a little bit meaty still, which is super nice. I honestly didn't think they'd be that way. When you looked at the rim, it looked a lot bigger than the tire. We get like a, a sort of beefy setup because it's a, a 50 sidewall. It's actually like kind of meaty and I kind of like it. And I just, I've never, like I told you guys, I've never met, like ran a wheel like this. And I'm just so pumped. Actually, you know what? Before we throw them on, let's just compare them to the old ones because they these are like, these tires honestly are just so nice. This could be a front left. Ooh, you like that new tire sound, don't you? Ooh, fresh boots, baby. I don't think we need to show off the fact that this wheel is obviously just so much sexier than this wheel. It's a good sleeper wheel, but this is just so nice to look at. This still looks more meaty, even though like it's technically not. And then for traction pad area-ish here, we gained like an inch on this guy. Um, but really what we're gaining isn't really the inch, it's the compound. Like this is meant to do something, that is not. I'm pretty sure I already know exactly how this is gonna go, but we're gonna try it anyways. I'm gonna do a little bit of suspension tweaking. Uh, you, do you guys see this? This is fucked up. I'm gonna need a new oil pan, um, just because I keep hitting this one on stuff, but this is, this is like, every time I pull in and out of the garage, I smash this thing. It's really, 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 really bad how many times I've hit that oil pan, and like, even Nick rolling it on the dyno, it smokes the roller on the way up, and it's just not good at all. So I've needed to raise this car a little bit. You guys can see, even this front tire is like, completely shredded. Noodles are coming off it all the way around. You know what, actually? Let's lower this thing real quick and just see, see how it actually fits up on the ground. Okay, first of all, damn, son. This wheel right now, 100, no, there is no give in this. This is fully resting on its uh, buddy here, so we're gonna have to figure that out. The rear actually sunk. Like, when we lowered it, it went and sat down beside it, but I do believe it's also touching now. This is it boys. This is officially my favorite angle of this car, 100%. I wanna get patrols in the rear so I can lower it just a little bit. So I raise it an inch and a half from where it was before to get it to right here. But just look at it, dude, it looks so good. It's like tunery, like hot boy status now, kinda. These tires are disgustingly aggressive. When I was pulling out of the driveway, it was just flinging my driveway up. and the tires were like caked in rocks. This is by far the stickiest set of tires I've ever bought. Like, hands down, no other tires tore up my driveway like that. You can see there's a freaking piece of tree on the tire, dude. They're insane. I'm gonna give you guys one more peek before we get out of here. This isn't permanent stance. Like I said, 
hopefully once we get some arms we can lower it just a little bit but even if it stays at this height and we just dial in like the camber and stuff this is really sick looking actually this car looks like a teenage kid owns it and he bought wheels and tires and a cheap abs wing and maybe an exhaust depending on if I have the valve opener closed when you see me. I'm thrilled. I think they actually look really, really cool. This is the first set of, like I said, machined wheels I've ever bought. And I'm really happy with them. I think they look really cool. I'm going to leave links to both the tires and the wheels in the description down below, obviously, for you guys to go check them out. Now, there's actually one more thing that I wanted to try before we go home. We'll basically just take the long... Oh, you... <laughs> oh, welcome to the twin disc clutch life, baby. You got to pay attention, otherwise it doesn't work. I'm really just curious to see how much these tires hook. Remember, it's like three degrees today, so we can't expect them to do great things, but I'm just gonna kinda roll on to second again, because that's what I couldn't do last time, so at least we know a direct comparison. <laughs> wow, that was better. I mean, obviously I didn't give it full sauce. I don't know why I always yell at you guys. Uh, third, I obviously didn't give it full beans because you just can't. But dude, that actually hooked up nicely in third. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. I don't think that is ever gonna get old. Oh my God. We just should have done this so long ago. It just spices it up. Like, it's not crazy. They're not crazy wheels. It's not a crazy car. It's not... It's just nice. Now when I park it in my row of cars, which are currently all hidden away for the winter, uh, when I park it in my row of cars, it'll look like it fits in. It'll look nice. Just super pumped on this thing. I think it looks really good. I'm freezing. It's so cold out all of a sudden. If anybody has a solution for this, let me know. The only thing I could think of would be to like glue the cap on this, but then it's Every time you take it off, it's gonna pop. I and mean, It seems like a hassle to me. I might just leave it off. So make sure you guys check out the Committed Cruise Black Friday sale, which is gonna be happening this weekend. Do not miss it. I'm gonna just leave you guys right here with this awkwardly parked car. Mm. Mm. Let me just change this guy. Yeah, ooh, there we go. Mm. Mm. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and stay committed. Yeah.